Mason is a uh, third grader, nine years old, third grade. What Welcome, is Mason Partak, to California Kitchen. Who is with nine-year-old chef Mason? <laughs> yeah, did you hear that? Nine-year-old chef. Here he is. <laughs> so how long have you been cooking, Mason? When I started baking and decorating cookies, I was two, and when I was four, I started actually cooking using a knife and using kitchen tools. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does your mom know you were using a knife at age four? No way. Well, there is nothing better on Mother's Day than breakfast in bed. Cody is with Mason again with French toast for kids. Nice bow tie. Nice bow tie. I'm Kathy Partak. My son is Mason Partak, otherwise known as Mason Maid. This is a story, my story, of what it's like raising a kid cook. He has a YouTube channel. He does live cooking demonstrations. He cooks on TV sometimes. Everybody wants to know, how did you know your kid was a kid cook? The answer is I didn't know. I got an invitation to cook at Tomato Fest. And he said, I want to do it. And I said, you want to do it? You want to do it with me? He goes, no, I want to do it. And I said, well, what are you going to make? And he had an answer. He had a recipe. And I thought, wow. I called Gary Gilligan, who was, you know, organizing the event and said, hey, Mason wants to do this. What do you think? I'm Gary Gilligan, executive director of the Mountain Mandarin Festival. How did I meet Mason? I think he was trick-or-treating one day, and he came knocking on my door, and I was handing out Pampered Chef stuff. He said that he liked to cook. So we started a conversation, and that's how I met Mason. After I gave him that Pampered Chef stuff when he was trick-or-treating, he wanted to do a cooking demonstration too. He didn't want his mother to have the limelight all to herself. And he said, you think you'll do it? I said, I don't know. He said, all right, well, let's give him a shot. We gave him a shot, and it was really, really impressive. He was eight years old, never been on a stage before in front of people. He got up, he chopped, he talked, he cooked, he talked, told stories, but he did it. And I was on stage with him. It was my first cooking demo as well. And at one point I remember sort of looking over to my right and watching this little being, where did this come from? Like, who is this kid? How did this happen? And I think Mason's main drive was really to be in front of the camera, in front of an audience and that's where Mason's true talent is, is being a celebrity chef. Hey everybody, it's Mason and I'm at Chelsea Market, the home of the Food Network. And Food Network, I'm coming for you. You better watch out. He's been on Connecticut Live. He's been to New York. Um, but he's got to have a lot of that drive himself to do this. And... Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. It's tough being a kid in a grown-up world, but guess what? If you want those opportunities, if you want to go to New York and be on the Lisa Oz Show or Connecticut and appear on Connecticut Style, you want to do Good Day Sacramento, Fox 40, you need to show up and you need to be professional. Four, seven, five, six, seven. You got three minutes if you want to wait. No, I'm, I'm ready. You're right on time. He pisses the hell out of me sometimes. He is sometimes extremely arrogant, full of himself, fat-headed, and lazy. Now certainly there's leeway for Mason because he's a kid. They give him quite a bit of leeway and they find him very entertaining when his ego gets big and he's full of himself. I don't find that as humorous. I am an internet sensation, YouTube sensation, sensation in my own mind. There's some real value in letting other people praise you, letting other people lift you up, instead of you being the one to show up and say, I'm great. Mason has the potential to go really far in this industry. He's got the interest, he's learning the knowledge. We just have to keep him focused. After doing the Tomato Fest, Gary invited him back to cook the Mandarin Festival. From there, he's been invited to cook in Petaluma, in Napa, um, the State Fair usually has him do several cooking demos through the year. So it's opened some doors for him. He's been able to do TV with executive chef Tyro from Bootleggers, who has become a family friend of ours and who has really helped to foster, you know, a really good work ethic in Mason. Hi, my name's Ty Rowe. I'm the executive chef and owner of Bootleggers Old Town Tavern and Grill in Auburn, and I'm here to talk about Mason Partak, who I have known for several years now and is developing into a very good young chef. People like Gary and Ty and these other people who have worked with Mason, they are hard on him like Dave and I are. 
they don't cut him the slack for being a cute kid. And they remind him all the time that to be successful means you need to work. You need to work hard. Sometimes he wants to be a 10 year old kid. And when you're performing in the adult world, you have to remember that you're not always a kid. No matter how much you don't like it, no matter how many tantrums you want to throw, you always have to play cool. And I have to keep reminding him that, that he's on stage. And when you're on stage, you always have to be professional. Yes, we fight. And I'm here to say being a parent is not easy. It's not easy. It's hard to be on set and Mason decides all these people think I'm so cute. I can do whatever I want. I don't have to listen to my mom. So am I that mom when he's miked and it's on that I'm grabbing his ear and saying, listen to me, buddy. I don't care that we're on the good day set. You better straighten up and fly right. Does that make me the bad mom? Does that make me the stage mom? Maybe. But guess what? That's the mom who shows up and says accountability and responsibility. What? Can you tell them what you think a clean kitchen looks like? No, I don't want to tell that story. I, because I know what a clean kitchen looks like. She does not know what a clean, clean kitchen looks like. I do. I think the biggest thing I see is the struggle between Mason and his mom, Kathy. Because Kathy knows and I know what he can do and his potential. And he's a kid. So he's going to be difficult at times. The arguments that Kathy and Mason have probably are going to be the biggest negative. The upsides? Mason has become an awesome public speaker. This kid can get up in front of a crowd without any preparation and speak. Anybody guess how much money I have right now? Can anybody guess? More. Five thousand. More. Ten thousand? Just a little bit over seven thousand. It's pretty cool. <laughs> His ability to speak in front of adults He's going to have opportunities other kids aren't going to have. His personality is going to shine through. The downsides are certainly the angst. The angst between Mason and I, um, the potential for people who think he's more than he is and are continually telling him how great he is, when really what he needs to hear is, you know, you can work harder sometimes. You can do a little better. Mom, what's the story? I have a story. Dad, story. Um, I consider myself incredibly lucky. I have a kid who is very smart. He is very driven. He is very talented. He's healthy. I'm happily married. We have all these really great things that are going for us. The fact of the matter is having a kid cook is not always easy, but I wouldn't trade a minute of it for anything. Well, Mason, I don't think the journey's over. I think the journey is just kind of in its infancy. Uh, you've got a lot of talent. Whether it's gonna be in cooking, I don't know. I think you're gonna go on to do some amazing things in life. Whether it's acting, singing, performances, politics, um, sales, you've got the talent for that. So I think you'll do well in life. And what up? Whoa, he even stirred, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man. No, you can clap harder for that, for Mason. Yeah. We're going to see a lot more of you in the future, Mason. It's awesome, yes, man. Yes, will. All right, thanks for coming to our kitchen. At the very best. Mason Bates.